Hi, this is Casey Kasem. When it comes to the rock era, Eric Clapton is British royalty. He's received gold and platinum records for classics like I Shot the Sheriff, Tears in Heaven, and Change the World. Now, can Eric's latest gem called My Father's Eyes turn gold or platinum as well? We'll find out as we count down all the hottest hits and check out the latest music news on American Top 20 from AMFM Radio Networks. Casey's Top 40. I'm Mark Elliott sitting in for Casey Kasem. Now, it was back in 1959 that singer Waylon Jennings gave up his seat on a plane, a decision that saved his life. Well, 31 years later, Eric Clapton decided to have one more cup of coffee. A cup of coffee that saved his life. Waylon Jennings' brush with death came the night he was supposed to fly with Buddy Holly to a concert. But one of Buddy's opening acts, the Big Bopper, wasn't feeling very well. So Waylon gave up his seat on the plane and rode on the tour bus. An act of generosity that saved his life when that plane crashed near Mason City, Iowa, killing Buddy Holly, the Big Bopper, and Richie Valens. Well, something very much like that saved the life of guitarist Eric Clapton. Eric was supposed to take a helicopter from a performance in Wisconsin to Chicago. But he wasn't in any rush and wanted to finish drinking a cup of coffee, so he gave up his seat on the helicopter to blues guitarist Stevie Ray Vaughan. As you may have heard last year, that helicopter crashed into a ski slope, killing everyone aboard. Had it not been for that cup of coffee, Eric Clapton might have been one of the victims of that flight. A chilling echo of something that happened many years before when fate spared Waylon Jennings and took the lives of Buddy Holly, the Big Bopper, and Richie Valens. A story of life and death in rock and roll here on Casey's Top 40. Now, on with the countdown. A few weeks ago, we told you how Eric Clapton got his first guitar from his grandmother. Well, that guitar wasn't quite right. And it was because of the problems he had playing it that Eric became a master guitarist. Details coming up. Casey's Coast to Coast. Casey's Top 40. Grandma gave Eric that guitar when he was eight years old because she thought he was lonely. She couldn't afford a very good one. And what she gave young Eric was a plastic guitar with a picture of Elvis Presley on it. As you might imagine, keeping an inexpensive plastic guitar in tune isn't just tough. It's almost impossible. And so in order to play the instrument, Eric had to figure out ways of putting his little fingers in the right places to play the right notes, even though the pitch of the strings kept changing. He had to play by pure feel. Then when Eric was 14... He got a proper wooden guitar. His grandparents bought it for him used, but it turned out that the neck was warped, and the teenager had to learn to work around that. Eric started playing his third guitar when he was 16, an electric one. But it wasn't a gift from Grandma. It was a guitar Eric actually built out of plywood. He got the body the right shape, but he had trouble getting the neck and the frets right. So once again, he had to make up his own style just to play it. Once again, Eric didn't let faulty equipment get in the way of his music. He actually used those difficulties to become a master musician. These days, Eric plays professionally made guitars, but the passion of those early days is still there. You can hear it on songs like this one. Eric Clapton was raised by his grandfather and grandmother. In fact, they gave him his first guitar, a plastic Elvis Presley guitar with Elvis's picture on it. Eric's at number 37 with Tears in Heaven, his first top 40 hit in seven years. Five years ago this week, one of the biggest hits in the USA was I Wish It Would Rain Down, a collaboration between the famous guitarist known as Slow Hand and the famous drummer known as Fast Fingers. I'll have details and that big hit after this. Casey's Biggest Hits. Five years ago this week, one of the biggest hits in the USA was a collaboration between the famous guitarist known as Slow Hand and the famous drummer known as Fast Fingers. Long before Phil Collins ever tried singing, back in the days when he was a drummer for bands like Flaming Youth and Brand X, his quick and nimble moves earned him the nickname Fast Fingers. Because when he really got going, all you could see of his fingers were a blur. Eric Clapton's fingers are also a blur when he plays guitar. And so as a bit of tongue-in-cheek wit, he's known by the nom de guitar of Slowhand. And it's Eric Clapton playing guitar on the Phil Collins song that was one of the biggest hits in the USA five years ago this week. Here's I Wish It Would Rain Down. Casey's Biggest Hit. 
Casey's Biggest Hits. Three years ago this week, one of the biggest hits in the USA was Layla by a superstar who recorded under a pseudonym to escape his superstar image and wound up with a flop album in his own homeland for his trouble. I'll have details and that big hit after this. Casey's Biggest Hits. Three years ago this week, one of the biggest hits in the USA was by a superstar who recorded under a pseudonym to escape his superstar image. It was back in 1970 that Eric Clapton decided that after living through the supergroup's cream and blind faith, he'd had enough of the limelight. To escape the limelight, he put together a band called Derek and the Dominoes. He made sure his name appeared nowhere on the project. And he put out an album titled Layla and Other Assorted Love Songs. Unfortunately, he succeeded in being anonymous too well. In England, it didn't chart at all. But in the USA, as word spread that Derek was really Eric, it managed to reach the top 20. And that album gave us a song that's been a hit three times in Eric Clapton's career. In 1971, in 1972, and three years ago this week when it was one of the biggest hits in the USA. Casey's Top 40. Hi, this is Casey Kasem. Eric Clapton has a hot new hit. The song changed the world from the film Phenomenon. This week, the song soared six strong notches to number 16. Now can Eric Clapton keep on moving up the survey and score his seventh top ten? We'll find out as we count down all the biggest hits and check out the latest music news on Casey's Top 40 from Westwood One Entertainment. Casey Kasem. And dropping three notches to number 12 is a British superstar who unwinds in an unusual manner. He's one of the best-dressed men in rock, always well-tailored and neatly pressed. He says that's because he loves to iron. He finds the monotony of ironing helps him relax at home and on the road. He's Eric Clapton, and this is Change the World. Casey's Top 40 holding steady at number 12 is a man considered one of the greatest guitarists of his generation. But the guitar isn't the only passion in his life. When he's not enticing audiences with his skillful guitar riffs, he divides his time between horse racing, fly fishing, and collecting art. Top 40 Countdown! I'm Jeff Wyatt. These are the nation's biggest hits by the world's hottest stars. And now we're up to Eric Clapton, a star who's performed at concert halls all over the world. Yet one of his most memorable performances was in his small parish church. It's hard to believe there's anyone in the world who doesn't know Eric Clapton's guitar skills, but just a few years ago, the legendary rocker found at least one person who wasn't quite up to speed with popular music. He's Reverend Dennis Aykroyd, the parish priest in Ewhurst, England, a small countryside town where Eric owns a home. Eric has long been a religious man and is a regular churchgoer at Reverend Aykroyd's parish. Well, one day, the good reverend dropped by Eric's home for a visit. They were sharing a cup of tea when the man of the cloth noticed a guitar sitting in the corner of Eric's living room and, after some small talk, asked Eric if he played. You can imagine Eric was just a little surprised by that question, but he replied, well, yes, I do. Then the priest asked if he'd mind playing in church. Again, Eric said, that'll be fine. And then the gracious priest said, quote, good, I'll give you a couple months to practice. Well, naturally, Eric didn't need any practice at all, and the reverend felt a little embarrassed when he learned Eric was one of the greatest guitarists in the world, a fact he discovered a few weeks later when the superstar performed a medley of hymns at his church, including Amazing Grace. This week, Reverend Dennis Aykroyd's star parishioner climbs three notches to number 20 on the top 40. Here's Eric Clapton with My Father's Eyes. <laughs> 